In this video, I'm going to show you how to start adding your very own indicators to a chart and how to save that as a template and access it at a later time, plus how to actually save your work as an image and share it on social media. First thing I want to show you or demonstrate in today's video is where to find the indicators. They're located at the very top on the indicators. When you click them, you're going to have a host of indicators, a whole series of them that show up. These are your built-in indicators, as they call them, your technical analysis built-ins. And there's also fundamental indicators that you could add. You could do volume profiles if you're a pro member. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. And then you have marketplace add-ons. There are add-ons that you could subscribe to and purchase. It's an entire ecosystem. And in addition to that, there are user-created uh, studies that are free as well. The way you want to start here is, first and foremost, go to the built-ins. There's also a public library that there are uh, likes on these indicators, and they're coded custom, and they're created by other users. Okay, So there's very many options that you could choose from here. There's an overwhelming amount of indicators that start to get added. Start with the built-ins and create the charts that you're used to seeing. For example, let's say you're used to seeing the RSI. If you type in RSI, you could see here relative strength index. You click on it and it will get added to your chart template at the bottom. At this point, you could click this panel, the edge of it, the border, and scale it to be as big as you want or as small as you want. If you want to make changes to it, you could right click it and say format change the color to be blue for example, change the thickness of the line, you could see it'll change. You could unclick the upper band or make it red and the lower band you could also make it red which just basically creates the top dashed lines and you could change the background or completely remove it. It's 100% up to you, very customizable and you have the ability to edit every single little piece of information that you see on these charts. This is why I absolutely love trading view. You could also change the length to make it 21 days and a number of other criteria. Let's say you now like the RSI and you say I also want to have MACD. What you want to do is click on indicators once again and type in MACD. MACD shows up under your built-ins. There's also some under the public library. So if you go on MACD and you click it, you'll see the MACD line shows up at the bottom. But let's assume you want MACD to actually be on top of the RSI. How would you do that? There are two ways. Number one, you could hover over MACD until you get the pointer, click, and drag it up there. And sometimes that won't work. More easily, what you want to do is hover over it and look. take your attention to the very right side. You see there are a number of arrows. So if you hover over this one, it says move up. The one on the right is toggle maximize pain, which will make this a, a maximum pain. Do you see how it goes big? at which point you would just click this little arrow to minimize it once again. So you're able to maximize each one of these panes. You now have one, two, three, or you're able to move them. So if you click on this and say move up, your MACD now takes the place of the RSI. Right clicking on this and clicking format will once again allow you to change all of the inputs and the styling that's used by default could all be customized and changed to your benefit or to something that fits your eyes and your preferences. So now that we have two indicators, let's go ahead and add one more and say indicator, let's find something in the uh, public marketplace. So we might want to do RSI and we want to see the public library, a user named Lazy Bear has created RSI bands, RSI percentage being RSI bandwidth. And when we click that, it actually gets pro plotted right on top of your chart. So there's a number of tools that you could use and a lot of different analysis and a lot of users code their own studies. If you're inclined and capable of coding, you could also create your own with the Pine Editor at the very bottom. If you click this, you could actually code and write your own script. If you want to see the code for a script, you could click on it, source code, and you could actually see what the user coded or what the formulas that they use were to create that study. So very neat program, it's like an ecosystem in itself. Now that you've got these technical charts saved, you have the ability to do something very neat. You could click this arrow at the top right and you could say save as and you could call this trade pro technicals with one S because we could spell, click save, now they're saved, they're open up in a new chart. Now if you close it and you say, well, how do I get, for example, let's open up any other template. 
how do we get back the, the previous template we had? This is the technicals. Well, what you want to do is click this arrow, say load, and now you're able to select the previous one. And watch what happens. When you hit Trade Pro Chart ABC, it'll open up in a new tab. If you go to the previous tab, it's right here. If you close your technicals and you lose it, click hover over chart, say Trade Pro Technicals, it's waiting for you right there. So you'll never lose a chart template, and it's already pre-configured and everything is saved. If you want to, for example, remove the MACD and say, you know what, I don't want to use the MACD anymore and I want to change my template, what you need to do is either right-click this arrow and say Save Chart Layout or click this little cloud with the up arrow that says Save Chart Layout, not just some particular chart. So you just click it, it'll save everything for you. If you want to load a chart from the cloud, you click that and it pops down and it's the equivalent to you clicking here and then load as well. So that's two ways you could load and save templates. So I've shown you how to create indicators. So in this tutorial so far, I've shown you how to open up a chart, how to pull you up your symbol, change the, the periodicity, how to go in and annotate a chart, and now I'm showing you how to add analysis to it and indicators and then save that as a template. So I look forward to the next video in the series. Please like, share, comment, or subscribe if you like what we do, if you like this video, and we'll create more for you. If you have any questions, pop them down in the comment box, and I'll personally answer them for you. Take care, and we'll see you in our next installment of the TradingView tutorial.